Who's got the power, the power to lead? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to lead? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super With the Super Readers, adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure waits when you're with Super So glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Hi, puppy. Welcome to Storybrook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Look, it's my little sister. Want to come over to my house and help me take care of baby Joy? Great. Come on. Come on! Hi, Wyatt. Why, why, why? <sighs> Looks like Joy wants you to put her down for a nap. I'll be just downstairs. Sleep tight, sweet girl. We can put her down for a nap, right? <sighs> How about... I make up a bedtime story for you. <laughs> okay. This story is about a super speedy baby who could fly as fast as the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> and then the super speedy baby got so tired that she fell fast asleep. Time to turn off the light. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Joy, what's wrong? <laughs> Joy, why do you cry when I turn the light off? No. No light off. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, boy. I can't put Joy down for a nap because she's scared of the dark. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers. To the book club. To the book club. To the book club. Come on, to the book club. Wyatt here. Woof, woof. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P. Your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve my problem. Let's go. Okay, Wyatt. State your problem. I need to put baby Joy down for a nap, but she's scared of the dark. Oh, no. Uh -oh. What can I do to help baby Joy take a nap if she's scared? Good question, Wyatt. And when we have a question, we look... In a book! Which 
book shall we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. Bedtime for Bear. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to my question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Wow, in this story, we need 10 super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Come on, puppy. You're coming too. <laughs> Woof! Super duper. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers. To the rescue! Alphabet! With alphabet power! Wonder Red! With word power! Princess Presto! With spelling power! Together we are the Super Readers! Y Flyers! We're ready to fly into this book! Super Readers to the rescue! It's time to fly with the Super Readers, because we've got a problem to solve. Super Readers to the rescue! Super Readers! Working together with powers to read In the books we fly To find the super story answer It's super wide Super readers to the rescue Presto! We're in the book Bedtime for Bear Let's read why writer highlight read with me there once was a bear named charlie who loved bedtime 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 time for bed he loved his pajamas he loved his blanket and he loved his teddy bear <sighs> however one thing Charlie did not love was the dark. I don't like the dark. I'm scared. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. Charlie and Baby Joy won't go to sleep because they are both afraid of the dark. Woof, woof, look! That's Charlie's cave. Let's roll! Hello? Charlie? Hello! <laughs> that echo is funny! Echo? Super Eaters, I'm over here. Hi, Charlie. Wow, your room is comfy cozy. Great for sleeping. Thanks, but I'm not comfy cozy when it's dark. I'm too scared. Oh, I love to sleep in a dark, comfy, cozy room. Me too. Uh, okay, I'll try. Yeah, I can sleep in a dark, comfy, cozy room. I can do it. <laughs> Good night, super eaters. Good night, my little bear. Good night. Oh. 
Yikes! What was that? Sounds like rustling. We'll investigate. I'm not worried. Uh, okay, I'm a teensy bit worried. You're coming with me. I hear the noise, but I can't see what it is. It's too dark. Huh? <gasps> ah! What are these things? Woof, woof, woof. They're fireflies. Uh, what's a firefly? Woofster to the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. A firefly means a flying bug that comes out at night and gives off a soft, flashing light. Firefly. Now we know what it means. Whoop de doo Give your tail a wag. Wonderific. I bet the light from the fireflies can help us see what the noise is. Whoa! We need to catch them. But how? Alpha Pig to the rescue! I can catch the fireflies in my jar by saying their alphabet letters. Say the alphabet with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I... Um... What letter comes after I? J! Let's keep catching them. K, L, M. What letter comes after M? N! Nice job. N comes after M. N, O, P, Q. Hmm, what letter comes after Q? R! R! In the jar, little R. Uh, ugh. Got it. But we still need more light. S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Lickety letters! All of the fireflies flew into the jar and made a really bright light. Now we can look for that noise and help Charlie get some sleep. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Charlie, look! I found what's making the noise. A squirrel! Hiya, little guy. Now that I know what the noise is, it's not so scary. Oh, good! So, ready to be comfy, cozy, and go to sleep in your bed? <sighs> yes. I'm sleepy. Bye-bye, fireflies. Thank you. You see super letters? Which ones? G. We need to put them in our super duper computer. Seven more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Nice work, super readers. Boy, am I so sleepy. Uh. Comfy, cozy in my nice bed. Mm. Good night, super eaters. Good night, my little pear. Yikes! What's that? It looks like a shadow coming from outside. We'll investigate. Uh, I need to know what's making that shadow in my bedroom. Uh-oh. But it's too dark out here to see what it is. How can we make it light enough to see? 
Wonder Rat to the rescue! With my Wonder Words basket, I can find something that will make it light enough to see. Hmm. I can turn this jar into something that will make it brighter. Let's see. J R. Jar is an R word. I love R words. It's time to rhyme. R car tar. Wonderific, your terrific jar. Far star. Wonderific, your terrific R. We need another R word. What letter is this? S. S. What sound does S make? What's this letter? T. T. What sound does T make? T, t, t. Now, what sound do S and T make when you say them together? St, st. And this part says R. St, R. St, R. What word is this? Star! Star! What do you think will happen if we change the word jar to star? Let's see. <laughs> Wonderific! You are terrific! We changed the jar to a star and made it brighter. Uh-oh. I don't think one star is bright enough. Oh, I can help. I can turn one star into many stars by adding the letter S. S T A R S. Stars. Presto! Yay! Wow! All those stars did make it light enough to see the shadow. And now we can see that this tree branch was making the shadow on your wall. Tree branch? That's not so scary after all. You see super letters? Which ones? I T H. Yeah, I T and H. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Four more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Way to go, super eaters. I'm really sleepy now. All that investigating. <sighs> Comfy cozy in my bed. Good night, super readers. Good night, my little bear. <sighs> Wait! I can't go to sleep. I'm scared. It's just too dark. See? It even says so in my story. Look. Charlie's room is dark. Super Eaters, what can I do? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day. Let's change the word dark in this sentence. Zap! Why writer? Right. Super readers, what's the opposite of dark? Cold, lopsided, or light? Light! Light! Which is the word light? It has a G in it. There's the word light. Zap! Let's read. Charlie's room is light. Hey! The moon makes some light for my room. Now it's comfy cozy. Not too dark. I'm not scared. I'm sleepy. Hey. Did the word light? Help Charlie not feel scared so he can sleep? Yes! Yes! The moon made his room lighter 
And now, he's not scared. And he's asleep. Super job, super readers. We changed the story and saved the day. Woof, woof, woof! <laughs> You see super letters? Which ones? G L I T G L I T So many! Let's put them in our super duper computer! We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Charlie. Why, Flyers? Back to the book club. Come on, Worcester. Woof! We found the super story answer with Super Y. Give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. N, I, G, H, T, L, I, G, H, T. Nightlight. The super story answer is Nightlight. <laughs> Why? Because when you're scared of the dark, a nightlight helps you see. The stars, the fireflies, and the moon are all kinds of nightlights that made it brighter so Charlie was not scared. So my question is, what can I do to help baby Joy if she can't take a nap because she's scared of the dark? And your answer is... Nightlight! Night yeah, maybe a nightlight will help Joy not be afraid to take a nap. Come on, let's go find a nightlight for joy. <laughs> Why? Hmm, there must be a nightlight somewhere. Oh, here. Okay, Joy, let's try this. It's a nightlight. <laughs> wow, the nightlight made the room brighter. And now, Joy isn't scared anymore. <sighs> good night, baby Joy. Have a good nap. <laughs> Puppy says good night, too. She's asleep. Hip, hip, hooray. The super readers say the day. Hip, hip, hooray. Yeah, yeah.